Within lies Rally Rimmel, friend, 1925. Hmm. There's a little more. Beware. Traps ahead. No one's been through here in years. This skull is deformed, flatter and longer than what we consider normal. Some people believe this is evidence the Inca were contacted by extraterrestrials, but it's more likely the result of hair binding, a human practice of deformation so ancient it predates written history. It also has evidence of trepanation, a medical procedure in which a hole is carved in the skull.
I should be able to reach the sarcophagus now. Shit, I'll have to keep climbing. The heathen emperor begged for his life to be spared. He offered the Spanish crown a room of three by six varas to be filled once over with gold and twice with silver. The crown, with great and undue benevolence, accepted this offer. Within two months, the ransom had been paid. The idolater, however, could not be trusted. When the cursed plans of his general surprise attack were exposed, Atawalpa fell to his knees, begging for mercy. His fate would be decided by fair trial, as the right of any man in the Spanish Empire. He was found guilty and sentenced to die, but before the execution he accepted the Lord and will be welcomed in the heavens above. Excerpt from an objective account of Pizarro in Peru by Ochoa Aceves. Remax be the first voice we hear in the afterlife, and may her stories comfort us.
We can get through here. Give me a hand. You see that? It must be Kwak Yaku. We have to get down there. You sure this is a path? Come on, stay close to me. This is definitely not a path. <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh! God. Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. Oh, oh gotcha! You right? I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. You all right? I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. Who do you think built all this? It could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. The bridge is down. Maybe we could lift it with those counterweights. Maybe. This depicts the Incan god Cone. He was the son of Inti, the sun god, and Pachamama, the moon goddess. Cone was in charge of the wind and the rain. Although, in some legends, he was only in charge of the weather that came from the south, while his brother, Pachacamac, was in charge of weather that came from the north. I hope that this structure is here because we're on our way to that village. Me too. This describes something nearby. Two serpents guard life and death. I lie trapped within the eternal struggle. This water is drinkable. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh, I think I'll stick to the bottles you found in the cargo from the plane. Cinnabar was used in the ancient past for producing a bright orange pigmentation on ceramics, murals, tattoos, and in religious ceremonies. This should come in handy. You know, if I had known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd, I'd have paid more attention in Boy Scouts. <laughs> Wasn't your thing? Well, my family situation meant we didn't get to do a lot of stuff like that. The canopa serves as a receptacle for offerings of cocoa and animal tallow. The stuffed canopa is thrown into the farmer's field at the start of the harvest season as a gift for Pachamama, the mother god. It is said, if the present is accepted, the farmer will yield large crops in a successful breeding season. Nature camp as a kid? Mm, does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. But Roth showed me some things. I always preferred the company of adults anyway. Yeah. I miss that guy. Me too. Hey, that did something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow.
With Eli gone, your arm should heal quickly. Yeah. I feel a lot better already. It's too heavy. Give me a hand. The water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. The bucket's leaking. Come on back. We'll try again. Hey, Jonah, you can let go. That's it. Let's get across. Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's... A recipe seems to be a mixture of herbs. It could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. We're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. <clears throat> These are different from the ruins in Mexico. Your dad's notebook say anything about Peru? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru. Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But dad's notes stop in Mexico. Like he lost interest, or... Or? I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. These two gods are the rulers of the Maya underworld, Shabalba, literally the place of fright. Fukub Kakwish, whose name means Seven Makor, was a monstrous bird who was said to carry the false sun in his beak. His subordinate was Hun Kame, which means one death. They are both defeated and killed by the hero twins after challenging them to various sports and games in which both sides cheated. Fukub Kakwish lost his game of darts when the hero twins used blowpipes. 
to the silver-crowned mountain where the twins confer. Hmm. How far do you think it is to Kwakyaku? Assuming we're going the right way, um, hard to say. But the irrigation system is a good sign. Right. People were here at some point. Let's just hope they still are. I found something. There might be a way in. If it's not civilization, I'll wait here by the fire. This gear is early 20th century. That starch shirt Forset may be getting all the attention, but I know his time is almost up. The world will remember the Timothy Walker as the man who finally found the lost city of El Dorado. We've set up camp in a canyon. It was a grueling journey to get this far. We'll rest here a few days, get our bearings. Some of the men need patching up, and I wouldn't mind one good night's sleep. The men say something came through the camp last night. The jungle is getting to them. I keep telling them that we're close and we need to keep it together. One of the scouts has found a temple of some kind up ahead. We'll start construction of bridges and ladders this morning and head out from camp this afternoon.
Damn this place. Damn this forsaken jungle. It holds a jewel just out of reach and then sweeps your legs out from under you. We've almost made it across that bottomless pit. Some kind of altar beckons from the other side, under a giant stone face that seems to mock our efforts. Something attacked the camp. Some men claimed it was panthers. Others said something more sinister. Half the crew insist on abandoning the expedition. I had to dress one man down, made an example of him. All I need is one more day, one more lousy day.
must have abandoned this place in the middle of building it. Under the watchful eye of one of the Lords of Death lies the gate to Shabalba, where all must travel when transitioning from this life to the next.
You find anything? Another of those Maya altars, and... And what? An old camp, gone to ruin. We should keep going. Right. 